Are you thinking about making a move or relocating to Leisure World in Seal Beach, California? Well, in today's video, I'm going to go around Leisure World, show you some of the amenities, talk a little bit about the community and what's all here. So stick around to the end. It's going to be a good one. So Leisure World is located um, right off of the 405, kind of where the 405 and the 22 split. You get, you get off on Seal Beach Boulevard, our only exit in Seal Beach, by the way. Um, it's right across the street from the Naval Weapons Station. The main gate of Leisure World gets kind of congested uh, coming in, but there are two other gates that you can go into that are a lot less congested right now. Um, but great location you're only about five minutes away from the beach uh, if you if you're driving um, inside of leisure world a lot of residents have uh, golf carts or bicycles and they just as you saw just there somebody drove behind me with a bike but they use those to get around because you know it's it's a small community but there's a lot to do here so leisure world has about um, 9,000 residents there's about over 6,000 units in leisure world it's a, a gated community. There's three gates with guards at the gates. Um, very active community. There's a um, like bus service that takes you into town and to uh, various different places around Seal Beach and around Southern California. Um, lots of things to do, lots of clubhouses. Um, there's a credit union, there's healthcare facilities, there's a pharmacy on site. Um, there's an amphitheater, so we're going to go around to all those different places, kind of show you a little bit about Leisure World. So if you're deciding that you want to move here, let me know and I'll help you find the right spot inside of Leisure World. And there's a lot of different things to look at when you're looking at um, homes in Leisure World too, so keep that in mind. Each, each HOA has its own set of rules and regulations um, that can make a huge difference in where you're going to want to live within the community. All right, now we are in Mutual 15, and this is where a lot of the uh, two-story buildings are in uh, Leisure World. I, I prefer these units over here because they're, um, most of them are about 1,200 square feet, so they're a little bit larger units. Uh, the downside is that, you know, you're, you have someone above you or someone below you. Um, if you're, you know, if you're loud, you're going to be to want to be on the top, I would imagine. But uh, most people over here are pretty quiet, uh, really nice, uh, quiet community. One of the other things you'll notice is that um, some of these porches are enclosed. Um, people, they'll actually close in to add more square footage. So some of these units are actually uh, could be bigger than 1,200 square feet. Um, but, you know, for the most part, they're about 1200 square feet for these units. Two bedroom, two bath. All right, now here we're in uh, walking past some of the parking sp spots in uh, Leisure World. This is generally, well, not generally, this is what they look like. So all the parking spots are just parking garages or not not actually enclosed garages, but they're carports. There you go. Uh, so all the carports have storage in the back of the carports and there's usually plenty of parking on the street um, in front of the units as well. Some of these uh, carports are a little bit further away than um, basically depends on where you live. Sometimes you're gonna have to walk a little bit to get to your parking. Um, if there's a parking right next to your unit, um, that's gonna increase the cost of the unit too. So sometimes I'll raise the cost of the unit based on where the parking actually is. So just keep that in mind. If you are thinking about relocating or making a move to Leisure World, um, you know, we get calls, emails, and texts every single day from people just like you looking to make their move into the area. So whether it be nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, simple questions, whatever you want to know, just reach out and I'd be happy to help. Okay, so now we are at the Veteran Memorial inside of Leisure World, which is actually pretty cool. Um, you can see it behind me there. 
just one of the things that's right across from the library and uh, clubhouse number four. I feel like I could go on for days talking about all the amenities that Leisure World has, but right now we're standing in front of the aquatic center where there's a, a pool just right close to there is the amphitheater and um, across the street is the pharmacy and we'll take a look at that in just a minute. One of the other things about Leisure World is there's uh, churches with all different types of denominations throughout the community. Uh, some are bigger, some are smaller, but they're here for you if you need them. So being that Leisure World is an active community, they also have pickleball courts, basketball courts, they have a golf course, a lot of stuff going on in here. Um, let's take a look. Oh yeah, did I mention there was a library in here? So many things like, you know, as I'm walking around, there's just a lot of different things to do here. Uh, very, very active community for seniors. Leisure World also has a um, mini golf course. It's actually kept pretty well. Um, if you want to come out and shoot a few holes, that's right here for you too. All right, when you finally are ready to move into Leisure World and you're ready to get your keys, you're going to go over to the administration building, um, and which is right next to the pharmacy and Optum Healthcare, uh, which is right here as well across from the pool. So it's like kind of the center of Leisure World. Um, let me show you what that looks like. If you've ever lived in uh, Southern California or you're familiar with the area, you'll know a lot of people like to go out to the desert and go camping and uh, you need a trailer to do that most of the time. So uh, Leisure World does have a RV storage uh, lot on site. So if you have a trailer, got you taken care of there too. And it looks like there's plenty of storage in there. So bring your RVs. Let's go. Leisure World is a stock cooperative, so in order to move into probably about 90% of Leisure World, you're going to have to have all cash, you're going to have to actually uh, qualify for the unit, even though it is all cash. Um, HOAs run around 450 bucks a month, little or, some are a little higher, some are a little lower, um, but for the most part that's what they are. Um, I have another video. If you wait till the end, you'll see it pop up. It's uh, how to qualify to move into Leisure World. Um, there are a few buildings in Leisure World, uh, three or four. I think there's three buildings in Leisure World that are condominium buildings. So you can move into those buildings with a mortgage, but the rest of Leisure World, it has to be um, cash. You also still have to qualify uh, to move into those condominiums as well. Um, there is an entrance fee to move into Leisure World. Um, all that's discussed in my other video. Um, but let me let me go ahead and show you the uh, condominium buildings. They're, they're really nice buildings. They're kind of they're along Seal Beach Boulevard um, on the um, right across from the Naval Weapons Station. So let's take a look at those. All right, thank you for watching. If you want to uh, learn more about the qualifications for moving into Leisure World, go ahead and click on this video up here, or maybe it's on that side, not sure, but it'll pop up, you'll see it. Um, if you, again, if you need anything, reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I would love to help you out. Real quick, if this is your first time to the channel, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know about the real estate market in Southern California. My name is Steve Batiste, and I'm the broker owner of Next Home West Realty. And we get calls, emails, and texts every single day from people just like you looking to make their move into Southern California. So if that's you, don't be shy. Give me a call, send me a text, or shoot me an email. I'd love to help you make a smooth transition into the area.